right here? Hola, amigo. It's Herc. What you up to? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm running some errands for the wife and kiddo. Cool, 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 cool. No doubt. So listen, man. Remember that time a couple years back we got hammered on party liquor at the Spread Eagle? And I made you promise that if I was ever seduced by a super hot, super intelligent being of dubious moral standing who whisked me away to an exotic land, well, that you'd come and help a brother out. Uh... Vaguely. Well, bro, sis, you better buckle up because that time has arrived. Oh, shit! Herc, I really don't have time for this. But, dude, you made a promise. Do you even know what a promise is? That's like a sacred pact, man. That no hey, man shit, man. Man. come on, get you stupid gal. Herc, look, can whatever you need wait until tomorrow? I'm gonna go with the big N-O on that, compadre, because this is one of them uh, life or death things that I sometimes get myself into through no fault of my own. All right, fine. I'll help. Where do you need me to go? Uh, well, it's a little far. Don't worry. I get you here in a jiffy. What the fuck does that mean? Herc? <laughs> what the? Look, just hold on and try not to vomit. Oh, and if you got a six-pack on you, go grab it now. Herc? What the hell is going on? Oh, no, 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 no. no. Whatever you're doing, stop! Fuck this! situation is, uh, rather dire. But just head through the doors, man. I'll explain everything in a minute. Whoa! Whoa! What the...? Systems operating at 5%. What is this place, Herc? What am I doing here? Look, man, okay, there ain't always a logical explanation of these things. Sometimes you just find yourself, like, in a space station with little to no context or backstory. You just gotta fucking roll with it, man. So less questions and more movement, Nicholas, because if you don't save us, we all gonna die. What? Me? What the fuck are you talking about? I swear to God, I'm gonna whoop your ass when I see you. <laughs> Good luck. Now, I know what you're thinking. Where's my junk? But as important as the answer is to that question, we got bigger fish to fry. Firstly, let me explain what's going on. You are now on Mars. Welcome. Now, imagine my arms are outstretched to comfort you during said revelation. Why are you on Mars? To save the Earth, man. What from? An alien invasion. Yeah, that's right, man. An alien invasion, Nico. Now, I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. It's not gonna be us who are doing the actual saving of Earth, it's gonna be mostly Anne. That Anne. The AI super being that Larry Parker would not stop talking about, you remember? Only problem is, man, these aliens took over the entire planet. They messed with her network, man, and she has come undone. And we need to get her back, man. So how do we return Anne to this beautiful, majestic, Earth-saving butterfly she once was? By finding energy cores and using them to power up all the terminals in the network. It's a simple plan, don't worry. Gotta get moving though, man. There's a couple energy core thingies over yonder, man. I'll show you how this works. Go get them. Energy cores? 
Alien invasion? What the fuck, Kurt? I didn't ask for this. Look, I'm sorry, man, okay? But you're not the only person whose life has been turned upside down for far-fetched and highly suspect reasons, okay? I mean, look at me. If anyone's victim here, it's me, the Herkster. That's it, man. That's the energy core. Bring it back and put it inside the terminal. So you brought me all the way to Mars to turn the power back on? Don't say it like that, man. You take all the pizzazz out. Control center restored. It worked, see? Nick, this is Ann. Ann, meet my bro, Nick. Uh... Hi? Nicholas Rye, you are Earth's last hope. And me too, right? An arachnid force millions of years in the making threatens your world. But with your help, I can stop them. Yeah, Herc filled me in on that part. We turn on the terminals and restore your power and stop the alien invasion. Is there anything I'm missing here? No. Why do you ask? I don't know. Just seems pretty simple for something not so simple. You'd think there'd be more to it. No. It is very straightforward. <clears throat> Okay, man. All systems are a go. Let's get down to business. You're gonna need to be able to defend yourself out here. You see the green barrels around here? Grab what's inside them. Now, I know it just feels like space jizz or something, but this stuff is magic, Mika. Harvest is straight from the aliens. It makes all sorts of cool shit out here. man. Take some of your space jizz over that 3D print machine over there and I'll show you a cool trick. Voila, amigo! Welcome to the place where all your wildest dreams come true. Current designs are limited. The more you restore me, the more blueprints I can retrieve from the database. equals firearms. Incredible. Yes. And the more my systems are restored, the more tools I can provide to obliterate any and all life forms who stand in our way. Uh, what do you mean, all life forms? Oh, you'll see when we get outside. We yeah, man, I ain't gonna let you hog all the glory for saving the world. This here's a partnership. Now, come on. Grab my head, dude. You got work to do. Man, this is not happening. Get a grip, Nicholas, because your brain's about to go kablooey, man. My antenna are scattered across the landscape. Turning them on will help restore my functionality and help you on your journey. Relax, man. It's just Mars, you know? Wait, 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 man. Stay off that dirt. Space crab, man. Shoot it. Shoot it, please. Don't drop me, man. I'm defenseless. We can... cores unless we power the antenna. Oh, fuck me. I gotta climb towers now? Look, man, some stuff ain't as advanced out here as it is in Montana, for which I apologize, okay? Days of climbing shit was over after I left Kyrat, but here we are, man. Man, I, I totally forgot to mention those space crabs. They live underground. That that one's on me, man. I'm, I'm so sorry. That's my bad. You're sorry? You want to tell me what that was all about? Man, ain't you ever seen Tremors? 
These space crab dudes, they tear through dirt the exact same way, I'm telling you, man. I hope you got a good look, man, because they're the invaders, okay? They're the ones we need to stop. Anne was telling me that they're gonna use her technology to invade the Earth and turn all the humans into food. Isn't that crazy? Exactly. Humans will become nothing more than food to sustain the arachnid horde as it spreads through the galaxy. Are you sure? Because, uh, I mean, they don't look all that smart to me. Well, they are. These little bastards, they've been playing keep away with the energy cores so Anne can't get back online. So if we're gonna get those energy cores back, you can bet that these little bastards are gonna be all in our face about it. your map to locate other energy cores in this area. Those two blips right there? That looks like the spot where I was attacked by a big-ass space crab. I am picking up a signal from your gravity belt nearby. It will improve mobility, remove fall damage, and allow you to reach the transference center. No. No way! My space jets are still working, dude! Dude, my space jets are still working! Okay, let's go find them, man! Once you acquire the gravity belt, go to the transference center. What the hell's transference? Transference is the future. It's plugging my consciousness into a robot killing machine like I'm at 209. Transference is the future. Yeah, yeah, we get it, Ed. Oh, man, she's been trying to make me forget about finding my human body so I'll just live life in a robot body. But I got a good feeling, man. I'm staying positive. Disengaging door lock. Please wait. Oh, dang, is that... Is that my hand? Well, who else's hand would it be, dummy? Fair point, man. I'm just not mentally prepared to accept the possibility that something really bad has happened to my childless dad bot. My scans indicate several more organic anomalies. Oh, come on, are you serious? My body's in a bunch of pieces? Oh, man, how are we gonna find them all? With transference, you will gain the ability to detect such anomalies yourself. Done and done. Here and now, another promise is made. We will find my body parts and put me back together like Humpty Dumpty, because there ain't no point in saving a world that does not include my beautiful booty. I'm happy you will comply. Transference is the future. OK, just like Anne said, we need to find the space jets I was using. Can't get to the transference center without them. Watch your step, man, and remember, the sand is bad. Space jets. Oh shit, that's my pelvic area. Big ass space crab did me dirty. Wait, where's my jump? 
Nick, where's my jump? Nick, you are lucky you've never had to go through this, man. Nick, I'm telling you, there is no worse feeling than thinking you found your dismembered member only to realize it's your peckerless pelvis. Come on, man. A little sympathy. We gotta find the rest of me, Nick. From my temples to my taint to my toes, man. All of me, okay? And then Anne can turn me into a real boy again. Herc, what you're saying isn't possible. No way, Jose. You shoot a big enough load of that space jizz into Anne's 3D printer and anything is possible. Nonsense, Herc. With transference, you'll become something greater than man. You will become immortal. Indestructible. You will be... Perfect. While there is truth to that statement, I gotta be honest with you, I am on the temporary train this morning. I don't expect you to understand the joys of humanity, the pleasures of the flesh, the delights of the senses, the takings of a monstrous dumb. Listen, man, I get it. You're afraid if I become a robot, I'll try to kill you, but I promise I won't. I'm gonna be a good robot, like RTD2, but with a machine gun. <laughs> Approaching Transference Center. Oh man, I'm starting to get real excited now. I cannot believe that in just a few minutes I'm gonna be a cold, uncaring, cybernetic death monster. It's gonna be sweet, man. It's gonna be sweet. Okay, the terminal is on the top floor. You gotta power that place up before we can use the transference chamber. You fly like the wind now, little monkey. Monkeys don't fly, Herc. Not with that attitude, they don't. Ever wanted to blaze with a laser? Well, this here is the dang laser blazer. Transference chamber. The two of you working as a team will greatly increase our chances of success. Team Tech? Bros for life. Put me in!
That is the space crab who had stole my privates, man. I know, I'd recognize that ugly face anywhere. You're the reason my wiener's rolling around the sand somewhere looking like a gigantic bread and cheese cutlet. For real, and, and don't forget to take my head. We'll need it to complete the awkward human puzzle I've become. Channel now. Don't mess up my goatee. Oh my God! I am fucking Robocop, man. Half man, half robot, all party machine. Oh my god, I need some theme music. Man, you still got an energy. 